Okay. So not so many people know Jakub, no Sam. Uh, the first point on the agenda is uh, is it recording? Yes, it is. Uh, the first point on the agenda is uh, open forum. Anyone has any questions or uh, issues or items? Okay, I guess not, so let's remove it from the agenda. Uh, I added a bunch of issues which seemed which seemed relevant, uh, but Tom Cooper is not around, so yeah, I don't know, but I think we should look into this one, which is there for half a year now. Uh, yeah, but since he's not here, yeah, I guess we should skip it or for next time. And this one, Marco actually fixed the comments I had there. So we had the approvals I merged it yesterday. So we can remove that one. Any other issues someone wants to discuss? Okay, then uh, there's a bunch of proposals uh, which are open. Uh, So this is the one with the topic encryption. I think uh, Tom left there some comments yesterday. Uh, and yeah, so far I am the only one who approved it. Uh, I think the guys from IBM would love to know what's the plan for that and uh, what's the future, so it would be great if you can uh, have a look at it, uh, guys. Yeah, I will have another pass uh, later today. Mm, I have it on my to-do list, so. Yeah, I mean, obviously I commented yesterday. I'm basically happy with the proposal as it's described. I just wonder, uh, without the ability to um, change keys for particular topics um, without going through a, a complicated um, dance that how useful it actually would be in practice given that um, often the ability to change keys is a, a compliance requirement as is described in the proposal um, so I'm you know I'm, I'm happy with it but I just wonder practically how useful it would be if if there was no sort of further um, improvement on that score, which is not a reason not to do it. Yeah, I don't know, to be honest, how these things work for the encryption stuff. I mean, if you are running something in AWS and you have keys in their store with which you encrypted uh, petabytes of data on your disks, you also cannot really easily change it without re-encrypting everything, right? So I'm not completely sure how the things like a key rotation and so on work for these things. Yeah, I mean, the solution is um, sort of uh, envelope encryption, I think. But at the moment, it's not proposed to um, sort of build that into the proxy. I wonder if... Yeah, anyway, we'll see if um, Chris sort of comes back on that point. Um, it would be interesting to hear their thoughts about um, where they might want to go with that. Paul, you didn't disable the waiting room. I didn't touch anything. 
How do I disable it now? Uh, disable rating. Yeah, so yeah, I guess Paolo, you should look at it. Jakub, you should look at it as well. And yeah, I mean, Tom, you had the comments, so I mean, you are just waiting for the replies, right? Yeah, I'm happy to approve it when we get some sort of clarity for sure. Okay, then the next thing we had was the exploratory testing tool from Maros. Sorry, Jakub, just before you move on, um, yep. Tom, I think when uh, we spoke before Christmas, I I promised to set up another call with the IBM folks, um, and I'm sorry it didn't get to the top of my to-do list. Um, is that something you'd still like me to do? Um, possibly. Let me think about that and get back to you. Okay. Okay, exploratory testing tool. How do we proceed with that? Yeah, I discussed it with Maroš before he left on his PTO. And uh, because he didn't uh, receive any feedback, we decided that we will keep it in, uh, in different repository out of the streams organization and we will see how uh, we will use it for testing and eventually um, we, we could be able to provide some more details how we use it and if uh, if it's really useful to have it in, inside the streams. Does it make sense? Yeah, I think it does to me at least. So should we close the proposal? Well, I can double check with Varosh, but uh, from my point of view, and as far as I remember, we agreed together that uh, we will close it. Okay, so let's try to keep some updates. Okay, so that was 24, 23, and then we have the REST API, I think. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I approved it yesterday. Uh, to be honest, I was not necessarily convinced that there's the technical merit for the move, but uh, yeah, I checked with uh, Reem and Matthew and uh, they said they will try to stay active and contribute from time to time. But uh, yeah, they might not have time to work on it full time. So they didn't really want it to block it if the rest of the UI community wants to move to rest. And uh, yeah, the same from me. So I'm not sure I have a strong preference between one or the other. So yeah, if 
you want to move to rest, then uh, yeah, why not? And I guess the same, or it's approved by Paul and Tom as well. So I guess Jakub and Sam are the ones still missing. Okay, I will check it after the call. Should we ping somehow, Sam, on, uh, on GitHub or uh, after Jakub approval, maybe we can just merge? You should ping him to at least ask him whether he wants. I don't think you, I think four approvals out of five are enough, but I think you should ping him uh, and check with him if he wants to review it or not. Okay, I'm going to do just right now. Anything else to this proposal? I see we have uh, Pete on the call as well. Uh, so if Sorry, anyone Jacob, has any questions, you... great opportunity to ask him, I guess. Sorry, Jakub, I guess you wrote the, the comments under the wrong uh, proposal. Because this one is about the topic encryption, the 19. This is ah, the one okay. uh, I got it wrong. Better? Yeah, much better, thanks. And uh, Jakub, the, the, the other one, I'm, I'm pinging you on the issue, on the proposal just for completeness. So I'm pinging you and, uh, and Sam together. Okay. Okay, anything else about proposals? Okay, guessing not uh, from the silence. Then I guess the next point on the agenda is progress with the 021 release. So the RC is available, I think, since Monday. I did a lot of my tests uh, with uh, Adria Cook. We run uh, a lot of the pipelines. So I guess the question is, uh, who plans to do some more testing or doesn't plan to do some more testing? Uh, and when should we release it? I guess if someone needs more time to do some more testing, then uh, there's no problem to wait. But yeah, it doesn't make sense to wait uh, if nobody plans to do any tests. I'll try and do some tests later today. I'm looking on the results from the upgrade pipeline and it seems it's mostly mostly green. There is only one problem with some older upgrade. I think it's from uh, zero 15 to 0 16 but it's not uh, a real problem of 0 21 i will double check it but uh, yeah the upgrade should should work
Paolo? Do you plan anything? Uh, let me say that I will um, I will use this release for um, uh, for doing some other stuff. So more or less, I will uh, test it. Uh, so not proper for well focused test, as you mean. But I will use this uh, for for other stuff so that I can yeah I can just use it and see if everything works. And time-wise? Oh, today, today, by the end of today. Okay. Okay, anyone, anything else to the 021 release? Okay, then I guess the next point on the agenda are the CRD changes. So yeah, I think we had the metrics done, we had the listeners done, and the only thing we had on the list there were the, the JVM options changes. So how do we proceed with that? Do we still plan to change that before moving to the CRD V1? And if so, which is the path we want to use? I can take a look at this. Um, I'm not sure I can say at this point. I've, I mean, I wrote this, so I should remember. Um, but I can't remember which of these was my favorite options at this point. Um, but I am prepared to do this because um, I think it would be better to tidy it up at the moment. It's just a mess. Okay. Anyone has anything more to this? Yeah, I realized uh, for external logging, we use name of the config map, but for metrics, we use uh, value from uh, config map. So does it uh, have any sense to to change CR for, uh, for external logging? Sorry, Stander, could you just uh, repeat what you said? I didn't quite follow. Yeah, so uh, for uh, logging, uh, for external logging, we specify in CR just the name of external config map. But for metrics, we, we use uh, value from config map, which specifies uh, config map name and the uh, data. So it uh, it could be good to have uh, sort of okay. uh, consistency. Yeah, I understand. Um, could you open? Let's start off by opening an issue for that and describe it, um, and then we can have a assess as to how um, inconsistent it really is and how um, impactful it would be to change it. Okay. I'm not sure we can really sort of decide that here and now, but that's definitely worth considering. So thanks for bringing it up.
Why does the stupid zoom bar show always where I need to go to the browser? Kill me. Uh, yeah, so the login configuration is like this, right? And the metrics configuration won't be here yet. Whereas the metrics is the value from, right? So I think yeah, it's, okay. it's better because you can use a config map with more data fields and uh, you just specify which of the fields should be used for the metrics. <coughs> yeah. And the I, same for the login later. I don't think that should be that hard to migrate from, probably, or? No, but uh, should we keep the backwards compatibility? Yeah, we have to, at least for some releases. Okay. Um, I don't think that should be that hard to migrate. No, that shouldn't. But I'm not sure we can do all of that in 0 22 right at the new field and then in the same release migrate away from it so i'm not sure how does it fit the v1 migration apart from that i think that makes sense uh can you add a chapter about it with some examples how does it differ to this document Sanda? Yeah, sure. It should be it should be writable, I think, for everyone. That's a good catch, yeah. <clears throat> so anything else to the CRD changes? So the next point is something I added. So we have bunch of annotations which are replaced uh, by new ones for a long time and we really use them just as a deprecated for backwards compatibility I wondered if we should clean the code and uh, announce in the 22 release that's the next one that it will be removed in 0 23 and then remove it in 0 23. What do you think? I have no objections to that. Yeah, same here. Yeah, makes sense. Me as well. Okay, then, uh, yeah, first I will open the PR to add it to the change log uh, to announce that it will be removed in 23 so that we can have it in the 22 release notes uh, and so on. So that's it for today's agenda. Anyone has anything else we should discuss? Last chance before I stop the recording.
Okay, so I guess uh, that's it for today then.